I want to lead with uh, the Paris Hilton no. story. And What's you know happening what? with so Paris? My producer, Andy Jones, is not listening to me. He's put it as the lead. Listen, I just don't believe in covering that story, especially not as the lead story in a newscast when you have a day like today. Can we show, can we show some footage of Paris? Do we have Paris? No, 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 no we can't. Last night? Joe, no. Hold I'm going to do the news now. I haven't thrown the... There oh. she is. Oh, look at that, that strut. Is, oh, look at that. She's That's so a humble. reformed woman. Yeah, she is reformed. She's shy. All right, to the news she found now. Jesus. Inequality is something we've all encountered, and each situation is unique to its own. Our team from University 1301 has compiled research and facts about the well-discussed issue, sexism in the workplace. Did you know that in 2014, women working full-time in the United States typically were paid just 79% of what men were paid? That's a gap of 21%. In 1974, this gap was 59%. And this is best case scenario. These numbers are only worse for women of color. Bernie Sanders said, from the abolitionist and suffrage movements to our struggle for the civil rights, to marriage equality and the continuing fight against institutional racism and income equality, women have been front and center for each and every one of our progressive victories and lead the way to our future success. So why are only 20% of representatives in Congress female? I know what you're thinking. What's the point? Our research focused on women and their struggles rising in the workplace because of their gender is the exact same research misrepresentation was collecting and arguing four years ago. This documentary eloquently presents their information using logos, pathos, and ethos. Logos is the use of logic, evidence, and proof to support a claim. Throughout the entire documentary, they provide statistics, real life situations, and interviews. By using these examples, they explain and prove how it is difficult for women to succeed in the workplace. Pathos is the use of emotional appeal. Misrepresentation uses strong visuals to provoke an emotional response from the audience. We see young women who are greatly affected by society and a mother who cares for her daughter and her new life. I couldn't imagine that my daughter could grow up to be emotionally healthy and fulfilled given our modern culture. So I'm compelled to make sense of all of this for her. Whether or not this affects you personally, we can recognize this as a strong attempt at pathos. Ethos is the credibility earned through the reputation of the speakers. Through the use of not only well-known actors, but also highly credible women and men who have dealt with women inequality firsthand, misrepresentation creates a good conversation molded well through the hands of many credible sources. Essentially, our research and prior knowledge helped us analyze and draw parallels between misrepresentation and our personal findings. And this all boils down to one fact. Misrepresentation uses the three literary devices, logos, pathos, and ethos, to effectively convey their message.